Hello students, today in your algebra class you're going to be working on dividing exponents. So just to do a quick warm up, this will be a really good time for you to pause the screen and try to solve these two simple problems. Hopefully you've paused the screen and you're just checking your answers now. So for problem number one, notice how it's a power to a power, therefore your answer should be x to the sixth power. For number two, it should be x to the tenth power y to the 15th power. Notice because it's a power to a power, we're just multiplying um, their exponents. So at the end of this lesson, you should be able to combine terms when dividing with exponents. So, let's do a couple of practice problems together. For example one, we have x times x times x divided by x times x. And what happens in these instances is we can simplify by crossing out the x's that they have in common. For example, 2, we break it down a little bit further just to really demonstrate what's going on. So for this one, we have x to the fifth divided by x squared. And if we break down x to the fifth, that's x times x times x times x times x five times, and x squared twice. So again, by canceling, we, we end up with x to the third power. But doing this might become so monotonous. Wait, so, so by this, Carter the by this, by making a generalization about dividing exponents, is if you notice, We're starting off with x to the fifth power divided by x squared. So when we wrote out the long way, we were able to cancel and get x to the third power. But if you look at the similarity between 5 and 2 and how we got to 3, what we're really doing is we're taking x and we're subtracting their, ex their exponents from the top minus the bottom, which is 3, or rather, x to the third power. For example, 3, 3, for example, 3, we have x to the 4th divided by x squared, so that's x to the 4 minus 1, which is x to the first, I'm sorry, 4 minus 3, which is equal to x to the first power. Again, just a note. When, when dividing by exponents, we subtract them top minus bottom. So let's try a couple more example problems. So for example, 4, we have x to the 5th divided by x squared to the 3rd power. So it's another power to a power. For this one, it's actually not too bad. What we're going to do is we're going to solve and we're going to get x to the 15th power divided by y to the sixth power. For example, five, we're going to have another power to a power, x to the twentieth power divided by y to the fifteenth power. Last but not least is number six. For number six, we have nine times ten to the negative second power divided by three times ten to the negative to the third power. When we have these, it's 9 divided by 3, again in small bytes, 9 divided by 3 is 3, times 10 to the, remember, I did this one on purpose, it's the top minus the bottom. So we have negative 2 minus 3, which actually turns out to be 3 times 10 to the negative 5th power.
Now it's your turn. Try problems one, two, and three. Write these answers down on your notes. And that's all for now. See you guys next time.